There's a lot of crazy shit beneath the surface. You know that, or you wouldn't be here, right? You could say that. Well, having you here, getting followers to download our app, going public with all this, it'll be good to start seeing what the hell's going on. chased yet another unlicensed craft back into international waters. So far, there are no details on where the craft originated from. Incidents of illegal vessels venturing into U.S. waters has been increasing. Speculation is that corporate spies are attempting to target the secrets of tech companies concentrated in Silicon Valley. I was going over Bloom's crime prediction algorithm, just checking up on them after their WKZ debacle. And this visualization shows how they flag different areas as low risk, high risk, or lethal force authorized. So these areas up in Oakland? And it's high risk. That's gang territory, makes sense. Oh, but these? That, my friend, is CTOS without any makeup. Motherfucker. They're set in schools, clinics, stores that shoot on site? That's subsidized housing. I mean, th those people got priced out of San Francisco. Where the fuck else are they supposed to go? You hold on to that angle, Marcus. We're gonna need it when we go after Blue. Oh, yeah, I can do that. You're right. This is systemic injustice at its highest level. You found it, Josh. Well, Ray helped me bypass the firewall. I couldn't hey, access No, this is all yours, kid. Good work. Hey. Inherent bias, I know. And we're all pissed here. I got some of my motherfucking code in that monster. If CTOS is pushing the cops to expect a shootout, they're gonna be coming in hard, too. Basically, they'll get shot. I get it. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Hey, I need some info. Is it okay if I stop by? Sure, but you're gonna have to come to me. I've got an appointment I'm trying to keep. In the old name? The very same. All right.
Hey, are we safe to talk? We're safe as anyone else on these streets. But you probably shouldn't hang around Oakland too long. Not with your record. Do you mean the lie they have on file or what I've actually been up to? What we've got is a classic case of cops and robbers working together. The 580s used to be good for this community. Now, they jump when the police say jump. Otherwise, their families get evicted. It's no way to live, but they've got no other way to live. I hear you. And I'm gonna fix it. I have to go. You be careful out there. Josh, I'm here. What should I be looking for? Just your run of the mill CTOS server. Probably tacked onto the side of the house like some kind of parasite. Charming. through the data now. Looks like the 580s drop off a vehicle and the police come collect it. It's a different car every time. The cops are running a smuggling racket right under CTOS? Their flag is undercover, untraceable. Which means physical evidence is all we got to go by. We need that car. I'll give you an overlay of who's going to be where, when. Check it out. You should be able to see the mosaic now. On it. Looks like that's my ride. Okay, I think I got a good handle on the layout. You see anything you can use to distract them while you nab the car? I can think of a couple things, yeah. All right, I'm ready. They're inbound, so get out of sight. Good luck, kid. That's the car. Now I just gotta get it out in one piece.
clear, but I need a favor. I got something else to take care of up here. Find me somewhere safe I can leave this thing. I can take this bad, bad boy home. Leave it near the bridge back to Bristol. I'll swing on by ASEP. Thanks, man. Car's parked and ready for pickup. Copy that, Mon Capitan. I've got my document and camera ready to go. Marcus, to what do I owe the pleasure? We need to talk, off the record. I'll meet you down by the water sign, south of my office. I'm on my way. Hacker cell DeadSec have been growing over the past few months. Rumors are spreading that certain Silicon Valley insiders are bracing for another attack from hackers. This anonymous hacker group has been escalating their targets to expose various corporations and institutions for alleged illegal practices. And this has drawn the attention of many citizens who are now supporting DeadSec's efforts, if not necessarily their methods. This is very film noir, Marcus. What's on your mind? The OPD. Last time the corruption ran this deep, they fell under federal oversight. What is this, the fucking Riders 2.0? I thought that was supposed to fix things. What have you found? Cops shooting suspects, planning evidence, stealing and lying and cheating the system just like the old days, only now, CTOS is their alibi. Operation with discretion. Look, you bring me proof, and I'll back your play. The OBD is changing, Marcus, believe me. For me and my friends, the community means everything. Bullshit. Change doesn't happen overnight. The department still has its problems, sure. It's got its reformers, too. Who are you protecting, Miranda? The community or the police? Marcus, you of all people can't be that naive. The police department 
and the community they protect are no longer so separate. If you want to make a change, you stop the people that are using technology as a mask. Because you and DeadSec surely aren't the only ones. And you don't start a landslide from the base of a mountain. This could get uncomfortable for your friends at OPD. My dear, if they're uncomfortable instead of being outraged, then they're friends of mine. Josh, the chief of the OPD is the one running this shit show. Tell me you found a way to take him down. There's a drug deal about to go down at a refinery up north, and some kind of vehicle exchange happening at the docks to the southwest. You mess up their ops, there's a chance our friendly neighborhood chief will have to come out of his hiding hole to fix it. Exactly. I'll hit the refinery first. Trafficking drugs sure would scuff the shine on his new and improved OPD facade. Lots of excitement leading up to the election later this month. Despite some intriguing new challengers, currently Congressman Mark Thrust is poised for a landslide victory. Online polls reveal that he's expected to retain his seat by a wide margin.
why I called. You're a for Galilei. The space company's rocket boom continues in San Francisco as another batch of rockets is set to launch today. These rockets contain satellites, although the space exploration firm has declined to disclose the purpose of these satellites, claiming it would be a breach of national security. Never gets old. Welcome to Bloom's new CTOS enabled banking teller. One moment while I confirm your identity. Sure. Evil Corporation, scan away. Welcome, Mr. Suarez. How can I assist you today? A small service fee has been deducted from your account, Mr. Suarez. 200 bucks, what the fuck for? Fucking bankers. Keep sucking the sheeple dry. Congratulations, Mr. Suarez. A $200 bonus has been added to your account. Sure. I'll take your blood money. Congratulations again. We've added 5,000 noodle shares to your portfolio. Noodle? I don't have... Wait, how many shares did you say? Five thousand. Okay. Let's play Ghost in the Bank Machine again. Carol, how on earth would they know that they're store-bought? 
I'm such a good baker. Welcome to Carol. CTOS enabled banking teller. Sorry, I'm at the moment while I confirm your identity. I think this helps. Carol, he dislocated his finger. I'm just saying the supervision is inadequate, that's all. Welcome back, Mrs. Kwan. How can I assist you today? How about you contribute to the bake sale for sport equipment? Not you, Carol. Sorry. That's how they are, Carol. It's all over their fingers, it's in their hair. What do you expect? So let the bitch think whatever she wants. Who can I know. It's kind of great, isn't it? I'm not going to say anything. Your e-transfer is complete, Mrs. Kwan. What? What? That's not what I pressed. Not talking to you, Carol. Of course there's no call button. I really did not need this today. God damn it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, Mrs. Kwan. Confirming a $200 deposit to your account. What? I didn't deposit anything. Carol, this thing just gave me 200 bucks. Who's complaining? Congratulations again. As our 1,000th customer, you've won $1,000 cash. What? I can't believe it! Carol, this thing gave me a thousand bucks. What am I? No. Uh-uh. This is a me fund. A me fund, Carol. Never mind. I gotta go. I feel the need for a babysitter coming on. Haven't you got better things to do?
can't get enough of these ATM hacks, can you? Nah, never enough. Mm, honey, I'm home. Welcome to Bloom's new CTOS enabled banking teller. One moment while I confirm your identity. Confirm? Confirm what? You don't watch television? Welcome, Mr. Franklin. How can I assist you today? <laughs> okay, so now you recognize me. All right, let's see those G's, baby. Congratulations, Mr. Franklin. You've been awarded a bonus of $200. Wow, for what? Being so damn handsome? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for your generous donation, Mr. Franklin. Donation? What donation? Whatever. Maybe my publicist can handle with that. I, I don't have time for this. <sighs> Congratulations again. As our 1,000th customer, you get $1,000. Oh! <laughs> what? Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm on one of those TV shows, huh? Are they hidden cameras? Kaylee's ATM hack passes with flying colors. The woman's got skills, and I think we can safely add this one to the dead sex suite. Marcus, I hear a little something in your voice there. Yeah, respect. Somebody's got a crush. She's not interested. Apparently, drunk me already asked. I remember that. <laughs> Painful. Hey, I'm at the refinery. Be careful. That's Broadfoot territory. But still under CTOS surveillance, right? So I'm looking for another server. Let me know when you're hooked in. Looks good from here. I'll run the data and send you the mosaic. I spy with my little eye something beginning with EB. Want to make a bet that whatever's inside ain't waterproof? Not the safest parking spot for precious cargo. What I do not get is how they're running all this right in front of CTOS. Sure, the system's got its flaws, but this is taking being caught red-handed to a new level. They must have some kind of operation in place to scrub the footage from the servers. Given everything we found, they're not doing a very good job. 
Maybe the deadline hasn't rolled around yet. Like taking out the garbage. It's on a schedule. Or maybe they're getting sloppy. Believing they're above the law tends to make people arrogant. Is that a subtle jab from our resident gray hat? Just an observation, darling. You can't hack human nature. Well, not for long, anyway. Here we go. I'm about to make a lot of noise. I'll put my ear to the ground, see what comes up. Go get him. Go! I'm about to make a lot of noise. I'll put my ear to the ground, see what comes up. Go get him.
See the smoke that came out of those things. Marcus, listen. I jacked into the OPD radio band. They are losing their shit. This is accomplished. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Everything just went haywire. The shipment's totaled. I'll cover for you this time, but if it happens again, our careers are over. Do you understand? That was the plan, right? You'd better get a move on over to the docks. We want to maintain the element of surprise.
Josh, I'm at the docks. Anything I need to know before I head in? Look out for Tezcas. Shit. This is their territory? Yes. Alright. I'm gonna find a server. Maybe it won't be that bad. Getting the mosaic process now. Anything interesting? The Tezcas always drive an ambulance. The police always take away a body bag. What? Statistically, if you want to transport someone, an ambulance is the safest way to do so. Somehow I don't think they're concerned about the patient's safety. That's my ticket out of here. Just need to make sure I don't destroy myself or the evidence in the pro- You really think this is gonna work? The Chief has a reputation. His temper's gonna get the best of him, I guarantee it. He should never have been sworn in. We don't always get to choose the people who protect us. Maybe it's time that changed. I'm about to steal an ambulance from a bunch of corrupt cops and possibly get shot to death. You get to have all the fun. And showtime. Speak to me away.
Shit, I can't believe I just stole a corpse. You're gonna want to drop it like it's hot, son. Right in front of the FBI headquarters ought to do it. You already hit the angry, corrupt cop mother load. Listen to this. Osprey, report. I don't know what happened, sir. It's like they, they knew we were coming. You're relieved of your duties. But, sir! Tell Kestrel to be on the next boat. He won't want to be late. No, sir. Cooper out. predicted shoot on site is on Alcatraz at midnight spooky <laughs> but what's the worst that could happen right don't say that seriously it's her Macbeth I'll keep that in mind when I'm being murdered on the abandoned prison island I'm out Oh, man, I'm going to the rock. I never got to go as a kid, you know. That's crazy. You love Alcatraz. <laughs> Only as much as the next guy. Quick, what was the date of the mess hall riot? Which one? Nerd. <laughs> oh, hey, I... Nerd. Well, she totally heard gunfire from her dorm. That's what she told me. She didn't even know that place was a gang hangout. I know. I asked her, how could you not fucking know? So it, it's 
another Rax Torishi's story that doesn't start nearly close enough to the action. I want to know how they made their millions, not what prompted them to do it. You're funny. Most people are in. Hey, I'm on the rock. The CTOS server should be on top of the prison. Yeah. Chloe! Yeah. See, on May 2nd, 1946, the Battle of Alcatraz began. Two inmates, Bernard Coy and Marvin Hubbard, overpowered William Miller and locked him in one of the cells. Coy, who had been starving himself, was then able to force himself through the bars, protecting the gun gallery and take command of the prison from within. By the time the failed escape attempt was resolved, 44 hours later, two guards and three prisoners were dead. The cells inside Alcatraz are 5 by 9 feet and 7 feet high. There are 336 cells in B and C blocks combined. Consider the privacy afforded by this arrangement to be a great advantage over other federal institutions of the time, while others liken the imprisonment to feeling like a cockroach feels in a matchbox. Oh, shit. There's footage of the cops murdering people on the rock five, six times already. Then I need to get out of here without alerting the murder patrol. No time. Camera 11. They're here? Shit. And that's gotta be Kestrel. Get out of there, Marcus. Nah, we need him. Alive. He can verify the list of names we pulled. The cops are already inside. There's no planning yourself out of this one. Freestyle it is.
working? I hear you. You okay? Yes. I am somewhere safe. Your friends gave me temporary access to this channel so I could thank you. You can thank me by going public. Count on it, my friend. Take it easy out there. Yo, I am never going to Alcatraz again. You got to live the dream, man. You escape from the rock? That is 100% legit. Okay, Dave, it. Dave, do, do you mind, man? I, look, look. Please. I think I just want to sleep for like a year if that's okay with you guys. All Not right? yet. Yo, come on, come on. All right, fine, fine, I'm up. Damn. And, voila. Here with us now is City Councilor Miranda Kamei with her take on this latest blow to Oakland's foundering reputation. Thank you, Shirley. But if it were not for the actions of public watchdogs and one very forthcoming eyewitness, we would not be having this conversation. It is my pleasure to announce that we have already launched a full-scale internal investigation with the cooperation of Oakland's finest. We want to make the Oakland PD a, a welcome name for you. Citizens of the digital age, welcome. Elements of the Oakland Police Department thought they could use predictive analytics to make Oakland safer. Instead, those who are corrupt hid in plain sight by reverting a feature designed to protect honest police officers from detection and retaliation. They smuggled drugs and organized hits. And they killed those who opposed them. Over and over and over. An official inquest into the OPD is underway, but the real culprit, Bloom's crime prediction algorithm, remains free of blame. Perhaps it is free of systemic bias, as its creators claim. Or perhaps it was able to be perverted because those filters, to single out the weak, the poor, the powerless, were already hard-coded. Without a release of their source code, we will never know for sure. DeadSec is giving you the truth. Do what you will. Look, look. Bigger picture moment here. Okay? Let's all breathe in. Everything DeadSec does supports our narrative. And breathe out. DeadSec is a distraction, but they are our distraction. So let's hold on to that thought. Namaste.